We just got back from spending six days in Los Cabos and I'm gonna share with you guys a little bit about each place we ate during our stay. Just remember, these are our experiences. Don't be afraid to give a place a try and form your own opinion. Now let's get into the video. Once we landed in San Jose, we headed north to La Paz, which brings us to our first dining experience at Moro Spiria. This seemed like a local spot where lots of construction workers were grabbing lunch. The food was hot, fresh, and full of flavor. We had six tacos for around $12, and this was definitely one of our best value meals. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Once we made it to Cabo San Lucas and settled into our hotel, we headed to Baja Cantina, which is located in the marina. They have a bar with seated swings, which would make for a perfect photo opportunity, but they aren't the most comfortable. We ordered the Baja Cantina cheeseburger and fish tacos. We can't speak for all their food items, but these particular ones were amazing. We also ordered two mezcalitas. Matt got the tangerine and I got the mango and the tangerine was definitely our favorite. It's good. Even better. What do you think about it? Oh, it tastes like orange crush with mezcal. The staff was great and very attentive. This was one of our best meals in Cabo. Like most restaurants in the marina, the prices are pretty similar to what you would spend for a meal in the States. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Casa Sola Cafe and Brunch is a great spot, especially for breakfast. This was located just outside the marina. There's indoor and outdoor seating, but we chose to dine on the outside patio. It had great ambiance and made you feel like you were tucked away from the hustle and bustle of downtown Cabo. We ordered chilaquiles, half green and half red sauce, which they call divorciado style. We also ordered the chicken and waffle, caramel frappuccino, and a latte. The presentation and quality of the food exceeded our expectations. The only thing that could have been better is the chips on the chilaquiles could have been a little more crispy. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. One of the few disappointing dining experiences we had was at Solomon's Landing. We heard good things about this restaurant, but from the experience that we had, we probably won't be coming back. We ordered pork belly tacos and guacamole. While the guacamole was pretty good, the pork belly tacos were not edible. They lacked any kind of flavor and were extremely dry. I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. We came to La Dulce after our experience at Solomon's Landing left us starving. They brought us fresh bread and butter to start and we shared one of their wood fire pizzas with pepperoni, pineapple, and jalapeno. They also have a bunch of different pasta dishes that looked amazing. The service here was some of the best we received in Cabo, which really made this place stand out. If you're craving Italian food while you're in Cabo, I highly recommend that you check it out. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Lands End Coffee is a solid coffee option if you're looking for a morning dose of caffeine. They roast their own coffee right in front of the shop and it was also very reasonably priced. They offer milk alternatives such as almond and oat. We ordered two cold brew coffees and they did not disappoint. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. After we got coffee, we walked down the street to the outpost for breakfast. They offer indoor and outdoor seating. When we arrived, the outdoor patio area was closed, so we ate inside. It had a great ambiance and vibe, and we both ordered chilaquiles. Now the chips here were crispy, but we found that the chilaquiles at Casa Sola Cafe and Brunch were actually more flavorful. So if you could combine the two, you would have the perfect chilaquiles. The staff here was also very attentive. One thing that made this place stand out is that they have a really cool staircase that leads to a rooftop dining area and a garden. I went up there to check it out, but when we arrived, the area was closed. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Baja Brewing is a rooftop restaurant located just outside the marina on Madano Beach. We took an Uber here from our hotel and this restaurant was not the easiest to find. It is located on the seventh floor of the Cabo Villas building closest to the beach. During the day, there are spectacular views of the iconic Land's End. However, we arrived when it was dark, but the lights from the cruise ships and the surrounding areas were all lit up, which was pretty cool. I definitely recommend getting a table closer to the edge and arriving before sunset. The food here was pretty good as well. We ordered the blue cheeseburger and the fish tacos. The blue cheeseburger was amazing, but we would not order the fish tacos again. The service here left something to be desired. I'm gonna give it six and a half out of 10. Captain Tony's is another restaurant in the marina. We came here for breakfast during our stay. We 
started with a couple of coffees and the fresh squeezed orange juice, which was packed full of flavor. The French toast was amazing. It kind of reminded me of a churro. We also ordered a Cabo breakfast burrito, which wasn't the greatest. But after we dressed it up with some salsa, guacamole, and eggs, it was more enjoyable. Like many of the restaurants in the marina, there are a lot of street vendors working their daily hustle. Some may find this annoying while you're trying to enjoy your meal, but in this scenario, it came in handy because we booked a water taxi ride over to Lover's Beach during our breakfast for only $10 per person. I'm gonna give it seven and a half out of 10. Flora Farms is a 25 acre organic working farm located just north of San Jose del Cabo. They are primarily known for their farm to table restaurant. The property also has a spa, shopping area, and they even offer cooking classes. Flora Farms is all about homemade food and farm fresh ingredients. We interrupt this YouTube video to bring you Annie the cat. All the meat that they serve is humanely raised and comes from a nearby ranch. They have handcrafted cocktails, a wood fired pizza oven, and an ice cream cart where everything is made using fresh ingredients from the ranch. Our meal started with a complimentary bread basket and fresh butter. They also brought us a juice shooter. We ordered the house-made burrata for an appetizer, and if you like fresh mozzarella and basil, you're going to love this. For our main entrees, we ordered the fresh-caught fish and the roasted chicken. The fish was amazing and seasoned to perfection, but unfortunately, the roasted chicken was very dry. Our waiter recommended that we try one of their pizzas, so we decided on the bacon and tomato, and we swapped it out with no trouble. The pizza was definitely a step up from the roasted chicken, but not as good as the fish. For drinks, I ordered the Wild Hibiscus Margarita and Maca the Guayabita. They were both very good, but I definitely preferred the Margarita. On our way out, we stopped by the ice cream cart and ordered the Red Velvet Ice Cream, which was super delicious. This was our most expensive meal in Cabo. You come to Flora Farms not only for the food, but for the whole experience and the ambiance. Overall, it was amazing, and next time we're in Cabo, we'll definitely be back. I'm gonna give it seven and a half out of 10. Next up is The Office. I've heard a lot about this place, so we had to try it out for ourselves. The restaurant has tables on the beach where you can literally put your feet in the sand and enjoy incredible views of the famous El Arco. We ordered two Good Morning juices, which had strawberry, pineapple, and orange, and they were very refreshing. We also ordered two vanilla lattes, which were excellent as well. For our main dishes, we ordered the ranchero eggs with a chicken enchilada and the Mexican eggs with a quesadilla. The food lacked flavor and spice and left you wanting more. We described it as the Denny's of Mexico. It was also pretty pricey compared to the surrounding restaurants. I'm gonna give it five out of 10. On our last day in Cabo, we headed towards the airport and stopped by Chato's in San Jose. Arrived, they had a lunch special for $10 that included three fish tacos and a margarita. This was the best value we encountered on our trip. We were just looking for a quick snack, so Matt and I shared the one lunch special. The fish tacos were really fresh and had a nice crunch. They also brought us a basket of chips and salsa. The one drawback is there were a lot of flies. Our waitress brought out a jar with some coals and rosemary in it to repel them. The service of the wait staff really shined here. If you find yourself in San Jose, I highly recommend that you check out Chato's. I'm gonna give it eight and a half out of 10. So that wraps up everything we ate while we were in Los Cabos. If you've dined at any of these places or have any recommendations for future visits, let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.